hello hello welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today we are going to create an uh, effect on the Minecraft blocks using animation node as you see on your net so we are going to create this effect So let's say a character is pushed from here, this point, to this point. So the blocks will, move, will be moving, will be moving first here, yeah, and uh, will rotate on X, I think it's on Y axis. Let me enable. Okay, the, the rotation will be on X axis. So that's all, and uh, let's set if we put two lender as you see. So we're going to put this effect. Let me go to default. Yes, so first of all, you need to create these blocks and put them in one collection as we did the last tutorial and uh, after that then we come to the animation node the trick after removing the previous node tree we're going to create our new node tree but remember that all these blocks must be into one collection as you see our collection We've made it at the push and the another collection we have our object controller that is our empty arrow. So can I set it to wait? So at first on our node tree, as always, we're going to shift A. I'm going to then go to object oh no shift a object correction and add a collection info after that we are going to find an output that will display our effect when I create it it will be on object and then to go to matrix output thereafter we connect our all object to as you see all these blocks come to the center but if we undo it remember you need to put an initial position for all object twice our ID key for initial transformation or position of our blocks. So it's shift A. Then we are going to come to object and add ID key. ID key will put in between of collection info and the object matrix output. So we do this, connect it, and choose our ID. We renamed our ID to push. So choose push. After that, we take our matrix to here, matrix. Bam. All object they come all block blocks they come to their initial position as we said earlier. Select this block. Its location notation scale is already recorded there. This one, this one, this one, this one. So th that is what we did here. So even if here it is push and I choose push two, we're going to get the same effect. So after that, we're going to shift A to add a offset node. We find it on matrix. Matrix come to offset. Offset will put it in between of object ID and the matrix output so what we want to control we want to control location rotation or scale 
on this effect we are going to control just the location and rotation so enable location enable rotation another issue a collector is being pushed from here from this point going here so it is from left going right so let's see when your character is here and being pushed the block will start rotating we do this rotation this effect and they will move upward a little bit on the axis and its rotation its rotation will be on ax, x axis so let me find x axis here is the x axis you see when you rotate going positive it rotate backward but when we go negative it rotate forward so the effect that we want when a collector is being pushed from here going to the left side one blocks to rotate on negative axis so let's choose it will bend it will be depend on what effect that you want to try let move negative negative 14 no 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 negative 15 negative 20 is enough so but all these blocks their x y and z location are zero on z location it's zero on x and y it's already defined in its initial position or transform so I want the if another effect that this block to move just a little bit a little bit on the location on the transform mm, let's see oh no it's too much set even even point four it will be enough so if it's here can you try another thing okay and as if better we can create if the so if this character is being pushed from here to here we can even admit it on y axis they move forward just like this they move forward a little bit and they come to the initial position so point four just a little bit let's say put point one five so okay let me go to view and disable our dispenser delete it after that we need to see our follow-up when it's zero when it's one when it's zero when it's one so we want an object that will control the effect a object we have already created an arrow that represents a character so when this arrow is being pushed from here we want the blocks to move up and move on the location point four on y location point one and rotate on axis negative 20. so we have to add another node here a shift a and we come to follow up and follow up we we'll choose object controller and put it here and connect it here and then here we'll eye drop 
this empty so current this empty this arrow will affect the rotation rotation of our blocks where the effect will happen so if you move it here you see you see the effect so one a character is being pushed from foot foot you see the block will move up and uh, it will present you to add uh, some kind of realism some kind of effect uh, to the scene i've already admitted this so you see Poop. the character is being kicked here and pushed from here to here so the block will move Poop. Poop. so this is what we created so far as you can see it in uh, viewport you can go to camera view that's what we see and if we enable material we'll see that is our block where character can move from can be pushed from here to here and if we enable a render view that we see thank you for listening don't forget to comment share and subscribe to my channel internal notification bell